if you could have more of you, would that be a good thing? Paul Rudd finds out in Living With Yourself, the new dramedy series on Netflix. Paul Rudd goes for a spa treatment and unbeknownst to him, ends up being cloned, with his duplicate being better in just about every way. Once he discovers the clone, all kinds of issues arise, not the least of which is who gets to live his life. This dramedy on Netflix is really well balanced when it comes to the comedy and the drama. There are parts that are cringefully awkward but humorous, and others that would prick at your heart and make you consider what you do in that situation. I think Paul Rudd is the perfect guy for this role, because he can be silly and serious, and be convincing at both. He's so effortless when it comes to this. I mean, he's like that everyman, and the guy that could probably be your best friend. I mean, he just seems like that. I mean, I can't imagine him being a jerk. Maybe he is, who knows, I don't know him personally. But you just get the sense that he he's just a nice guy who can be just down to earth and really have a good heart to heart and an intelligent conversation, but then at the same moment, just go off the rails nuts and have a lot of fun and just make you pee your pants a little bit because you're laughing so hard. There are eight episodes in this series, but each of them is only like 30 minutes long. So, I mean, it's not a huge time commitment if you choose to sit down and binge it all. I think the series does a really good job of trying to get you to choose a side. Do you choose original Paul Rudd or do you choose cloned Paul Rudd? And it makes a convincing argument for both. Now there are some surprises and unexpected things that happen along the way. And I enjoyed that it caught me off guard, that I was like, whoa, I did not see that part coming. And yay, I'm glad for that. But on the flip side, there are some scenes that just feel like they go on too long. Almost like they were trying to fill time. And when it's an under 30 minute episode, it's kind of like, mm, did you really need to fill the time? And there's this one scene in this one situation that is just so ridiculous that while I guess it could happen in this universe they've built, it just seems even more far-fetched than what the series is already presenting. And so it just kind of was, it was a little out of place some of the jokes in that felt long and a little flat. And so I could have done without that part of it and just been fine. I do like that we get to see both perspectives. Sometimes we're seeing original Paul Rudd's perspective and then we get to see clone Paul Rudd's perspective and on the same event. And so that's kind of fun because, you know, it's two sides of the coin. It's two people's perspectives. We get to see how the events unfold from each other's eyes and how they perceived what's going on. Aisling B plays Rudd's wife and she is great as a loving woman who is very successful, but also frustrated by how her husband has just lost his drive for everything. This one is a lot of fun for just quick watches, even if you're not gonna binge it all at once. But beware, if you start it, you will probably get sucked in and just hit the next episode. There is sex, but not really any nudity, lots of profanity, and some mild violence. I give Living With Yourself on Netflix four out of five couches. So what is your favorite Paul Rudd performance? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.